Hi, this is Jared from ShoeGnome, and I want to talk real quick about how to make a oddly shaped empty opening in a wall. There's a lot of ways to do this. Um, solid element operations, uh, good use of building material priorities and turning on and off layers, etc. But one good solution is creating a new empty opening object. So I'm going to walk you through how to do that. Uh, first, we're going to take the slab tool going to make our shape. Okay, there's our shape. Now we're going to go select the shape, change the ID to wall hole. Now when we save this object, ARCHICAD will know to turn this thing with the ID wall hole into a hole instead of a, uh, a thing that's going into the wall. So um, just all this stuff default is okay. Uh, we can go into that in other videos, and actually I have talked about those buttons in other videos. So now we're going to go to the window tool. Our new window is already selected. We're going to place that in there. And when we go to 3D, there is our new empty opening. Um, you'll notice that the surface of that hole is based on the properties of the wall instead of the empty opening. Um, I'm not sure how to get around that. I'm hoping someone else knows some button I'm missing, but um, seems like they changed something in 17, so I'm not sure what's going on. But if you need it to be uh, have this say this white material instead of what is on the back there, um, my plywood material, you can select the wall and change what the reference line is. Then you'll notice that the wall is picking the empty opening is picking up um, the surface of the reference line side of the wall. Okay, so that's how you make the hole. Uh, there's another thing we can do. Um, we can also make custom niches. So let's take the same um, slab and instead of going wall hole, let's go wall niche as the ID. Now I'm going to go file Libraries and objects, save this window, continue and save. Generic is fine, let's not worry about that. Um, if we, I'll just copy this over, create a new window, and we change it from window 1 to window 2. That's having to be on the wrong side. But here we can see um, that this is now a a niche. Again, it's a little hard to see because it's matching the um, properties of the wall, but let's go to uh, the section real quick. Um, there's our, I believe our niche, and there's a wall. We can, we can verify that by taking another wall. And let's shoot something behind it. And open that. Yeah, there you go. You can see that that is open and that's closed. Um, that's really the bulk of what I want to show you. So it's super simple. Uh, one other thing to note is you can save multiple slabs. Um, so if we had two of these wall openings, uh, these wall holes, change my hole. We go libraries and objects, save the selection window. And actually, let's just rename, redo the new window one. We'll just give it the same name. It'll ask to overwrite. We'll say replace. Hit OK. Um, let's move this guy up out of the way of the other one. And um, there we have it. It's kind of resized. But okay. So now we have one hole with the uh, one object with two holes in it. So I hope that gives you guys something to think about. And uh, oh, one last thing since we're, we're on this topic. Um, if I were to get this wall hole, I'm going to copy and paste it. Um, let's change this to solid and give it, um, say, carpet color. So if I select this file, um, oh, no, not 
save as. Libraries and objects, save as selection window. Okay, call window 3, that's fine. That's fine. Now, uh, make my wall bigger here. If we put in window 3, we'll notice kind of a couple goofy things. It's it's in a big hole, that's a rectangle, because it's going to the edges of that, and uh, it's actually sitting outside of the wall, which is not good. Um, the way to fix that is, you can see I've selected two objects here. One has the ID solid, one has the ID wall hole. Let's go to libraries and objects, save selection as window. Hit continue, the window 4 is okay. Now, we bring that over and we change this to window 4. You can see that the uh, the hole is now also shaped like the object, but it's sitting out of the wall. So I wonder why that is. My guess is let's change this to zero, project zero. So now the things on project zero. Libraries and objects, save window, continue. Let's redo that. It's four, place, okay. There we go. Um, so you can see that's the last bit we'll talk about. Um, when you're saving a window object that actually has um, bits in it, uh, its relationship to Project Zero matters. Um, the wall hole, not so much, because it's kind of an infinite thing. But the uh, any solid pieces will, will matter. So I hope that makes sense. It's a, a cool way for you to make um, either niches, holes, or if you want an object that is kind of inset completely like that, we can do that too um, with a combination of those and uh, leaving some with a wall ID, whatever. I, I used solid, but it could just be, that's, that doesn't mean anything. It's just not wall hole or not niche. So um, that's all. Thank you very much.